Thank you for coming today. Um, our lesson this week is on fellowship and it's lesson four, six. So I'm gonna ask you a question. So how would you feel if you had the best day ever and you didn't have anyone to share that with? Whether we are happy or sad, people usually want someone to be there with them. When you experience life with other believers, this is called fellowship. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So this week, I want you guys to have your felt, the start here filled in, your um, explorer work all done, and both sections, both um, verses, your memory verse for tonight, and your um, review verse from last week as well. So make sure that you get all of that, that you do all of that for your mom or dad, and that you have them sign the book for you. So this week's memory verse is Ephesians 4, 1 through 3, and Mr. Jamie and I are going to read them together. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. So fellowship is being in relationships with other Christians. We are part of God's family. When we are loving, when we are in loving, healthy relationships with other Christians, everyone will know that we are disciples of Jesus Christ. So we just read our memory verse and um, we're gonna do the lesson now. We're on page 224 Hadassah um in brooklyn so um it says here you may have people in your life who you have who you have fun with you also you have a lot in common and they're easy to be around a lot of times they're your best friend or your sister or brother but you may also have people in your life who are more difficult to spend time with when god created humans he created us all to be unique one of a kind even twins are all are different, are separate in their own way, identical, even have different um, characteristics and um, different um, attitudes and different things like that. So that means that sometimes it takes work, more work to get along with some people. When we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior, we become part of the family of God. And Mr. James is going to read Ephesians 1, 5. Having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the gospel uh, I apologize, according to the good pleasure of his will. So, as part of the family of God we all have the same purpose or goal, sharing the good news of Jesus and glorifying God in our relationships. This is a, there is a lot in the New Testament about what it means to have a, rela a fellowship with each other. Let's start by looking at the memory verses for this week. So, Mr. James is going to read our memory verse again this week, um, Ephesians 4, 1 through 3. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. These verses don't specifically use the word fellowship, but they are telling us that we should be in relationship with each other. And that is what fellowship is. So in verse 1, it says that we should... Walk worthy of the calling. That's right, Mr. Jamie. That's the answer to question number 1, Brooklyn. Make sure you write it down in, your, in the little white space in your book. So it says, walk worthy of the calling. Being part of God's family is a gift. We should treat doing what what he has called us to do as a privilege and an honor. It's like this. Sometimes when your mom makes a huge meal and it's your birthday or something and you have friends over, um, my son Benjamin had his friend um, Casey over once and um, we made this huge meal for him for his birthday and then um, Benjamin says, now Casey, you have to do the dishes. And he said, it would be an honor. It's my privilege. It would be wonderful for me to do that after a meal like that. It's just the same. It's our privilege and our honor to do, to spend time with other people and to do what the Lord has called us to do. 
So verse number two tells us what kind of attitude to have. What do these words mean? Mr. Jamie, would you read verse two for me again? A lowliness and gentleness with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. So we should not treat others as less important than ourselves. And we should be kind. So we should make sure that we do and say, and everything that we do and say brings honor and glory to the Lord. And that's what we do when we're kind and when we have the right heart attitude. Um, for when we, mom and dad ask us to do something and we go and do it on the outside, but we're angry on the inside, that's what the Lord doesn't want. He wants us to have the right heart attitude when we're in fellowship because we want to be in fellowship with them when we're doing these things for him. Having fellowship with others means looking at others as more important than ourselves. When we do that, we are self-controlled and kind. What does verse 2 say about how we should treat each other? With all lowliness and gentleness and with long suffering. So instead of being, or being understanding, instead of angry or frustrated, and loving others. So that's what verse 2 says is that we should be. So make sure you write that in, sec in lesson question number three. So we should be understanding with each other and loving in everything that we do. So Ephesians 4, 3 concludes our memory verses by saying something we should work especially hard to do. What is it? Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. That's the answer to question number four, Brooklyn. And Emma, God wants you to fellowship and build relationships with other people who have accepted Jesus Christ as Savior. How can you encourage a friend who is a Christian, who is in the family of God, who is in the family of God? Can you show God's love to them today? Is there someone you need to forgive or ask forgiveness? If you are a Christian, you are called to fellowship and to live at peace with other believers. How can you do that today? So if there's, a, if there's something going on and, and you've had a bad day or, or um, you hurt somebody's feelings or, or they've hurt your feelings and you need to forgive them, you can send them a card even today and say, I'm, I'm sorry, um, but I was holding a grudge against you and I didn't speak to you today, not after this coronavirus. Or you can send them a card, put it in the mail with a stamp on it and, and just get in right fellowship with those people. Remember for, that you have to say your um, definitions. Um, there's calling, which is what God has asked us to do. Um, lowliness, which is not thinking of yourself as better than someone else. And unity, being in agreement, working together in peace.